Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to Car for Sale Simulator 2023. So I'm hoping for this episode we actually start making a profit from cars. I really think we just go to the market or the neighborhood and try to buy sub $2,000 cars. I just need to start making a little bit of money and hopefully get some levels to get this one, the best price upgrade. That way we could actually know how much we're supposed to sell these cars for. Because right now I'm kind of just guessing and it's kind of biting me in the butt. So I think first thing tomorrow we'll head to the neighborhood and try to get some of those cars. Uh, first things first, let's head over to the red bar because I was told in the comments that I missed something over here. There's someone that will sell me some useful things, something like that. Is it you? Oh, black market. Okay. So we got like a sledgehammer and oh, I think this is like the main tablet where you're supposed to do a lot of things. And then it looks like there's some other stuff coming soon. Uh, I mean, we kind of have the money. So why don't we check that out? So 1500 right there, and do we even want the sledgehammer? I don't know if that's actually used for anything. Uh, sure, I'll buy it just to have it. Oh, used for breaking up junk in the scrapyard. So maybe we could break down cards there or something. And tablet, use a tablet for everyday tasks. Let's go ahead and click that. Oh, okay, so it's pretty much our computer that we have at home. Now it's just with us, and I think this lets us take pictures. Yeah, so we got the camera here. Okay, we can zoom in, zoom out, and everything. I'm assuming that probably helps us get better prices for the cars. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Should be pretty useful. And then maybe if we have a car in front of us, we can look up the price or something once we get that upgrade. Also, I don't know what's going up with the grass. I've reloaded a couple times and there's just no grass in this game anymore. Either way, let's go to sleep and head to the neighborhood in the morning. Again, trying to find maybe 2,000-ish dollar cars, if not hopefully under. We also have the car market, so we can kind of look there too. But let's check around here first since we're already here. Yeah, 6,600. Nope. All right, did a little bit of looking around. Didn't see any other car that was cheaper than this one here. This one's about... 2300 i think he said it's not really showing any damage it's kind of only dirty and it has tons of stuff so electronics drift kit and a turbo kind of feel like we could get a decent price for that i think it's mostly just dirty i don't know what that body panel actually means damage right there i mean i could pay someone to kind of look at it but how about we just buy as it is and hopefully turn a profit i did get the cleaning skill last time so it should be okay how's it drive Eh, not too bad Acceleration kind of comes in later on. Maybe kind of that turbo lag, you know? But yeah, not too bad. Ooh, it kind of slides around. I guess that's from the drift kit, right? Okay, that actually kind of makes a bit of sense. Okay, now that's nice and clean. Let's see if it needs any mechanical work. Hopefully I didn't park this the wrong way. Oh, well, we'll find out right now. Oh, no problem with the car. Nice. Okay, so I feel like this maybe wasn't as bad of a purchase as I thought. Maybe we just throw on some wheels or something cheap and list it for sale. I don't know if people are going to like the drift kit or not, but we'll find out. Wait, did the person lie to me? Did they not say it had a drift kit? Because it seems like it says it has the default kit here, no? How about we slap on a turbo? That seems to get people interested in the car. And it did seem really slidey, but I guess not. Okay, let's go ahead and try out the tablet, take some pictures. We'll just do kind of one from each angle. Let's head over here, add those photos. And I really have no idea what price to put it for. We've essentially paid $2,650 plus I think a little bit of gas. How about we be a little bit ambitious and go for $3,500? That'll put us like $900 of profit, which, eh, not too bad, I guess. Okay, here we are the next day. Went ahead and passed by the neighborhood. Didn't really find any cheap cars. Let's see what she's offering for it. Oh, dang, $2,600. Yeah, that's still pretty low. Uh, I did get 20% dirty, so maybe I just need to give a little bit of cleaning and that'll kind of help with the price a little bit. Okay, that's nice and clean again. Let's see what this guy's offering. Okay, that actually seems to have helped the price just a little. $29.85. I don't think I'll take less than $3,300, honestly. Okay, this lady's offering $3,205. Let's see what this other lady is offering. We got some competition now. Come on. $3,146. So no. And then... Should I take it? I think I should take it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. For once, didn't lose money, so that's a good start. Okay, here we are the next day at the neighborhood, and this guy's selling this Peugeot 504 Classic to so 1855 uh, I feel like I bought one of these last time, and it was kind of hard to sell for a profit, if I'm being honest. And this one does have some damage on the doors and whatnot. Let's go ahead and see and remember that price, because I think this guy's selling a similar one over here, because then maybe that'll give us a better price range. Ooh, 2,200, and this one has, like, no damage. But it doesn't seem to have the racing kit, which the other one has, and that costs about 750. I mean, if I'm being honest, I actually wouldn't mind buying both. Yeah, how about we do that? We'll become a Pidgeot dealership, essentially. And, oh my god, this thing is ridiculously slow. Oh my gosh, it has no acceleration whatsoever. I guess that makes sense while they're selling it for, like, 2k. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one fixed, see how much that's gonna cost us. Ooh, a thousand bucks. I mean, I guess I kind of have to, right? 
Okay, hopefully that's worth it. We'll come back, get some upgrades later. Okay, just bought the second car. Let's go ahead and check if that needs any repairs as well. Looks like our other one's done. How much for this one? Oh, okay, 220. That's not bad. Just the roof. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And let's see if we do a little bit of upgrades on it. Also do have a skill point, but I think we'll hold off, like I said, for the kind of price evaluation. I think that's going to be the most important thing. Okay, what do we want to do on this one? So it did have the racing kit. Uh, I guess we'll just slap on a turbo. And then, yeah, I can't put anything else. Okay, okay. So not too bad. 250 there. I'm not sure if any painting is going to really help this one. We probably just have to give it a quick cleaning in a bit. Uh, please don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Oh, okay. Got a little worried there for a second. Okay, and then our second car is done as well. Let's go ahead and do probably a similar thing. Maybe a racing kit and a turbo if possible. Yeah, so racing kit, turbo, and yeah, pretty much a thousand. This looks like it has the same tires and everything else. Okay, cars are clean. Got photos on them. Oh, this one actually has way lower mileage. I didn't even notice. They're actually different years. Ten years apart. Okay, so will this one sell more because of mile and year? I don't know. That's interesting, actually. Okay, got photos up. Uh, seems like something's up with the paint. I'm not going to worry about that too much, I guess. And to turn a profit, we have to sell it for at least 3200 uh, So how about we go with like 4k? See if someone wants to pay even remotely close to that. And then for the second, we have to sell it for at least 3400 uh, Let's go with 45 We'll be ambitious again. Okay, those are for sale. Now we just gotta kind of wait and hopefully don't lose too much money. Okay, passed by the car market today. Didn't really see too much. Uh, this lady's selling another Fiat for 2260 i mean we only have 2300 so we're gonna be left with like 30 bucks essentially uh sure let's go ahead and buy it again just trying to get super cheap cars i mean this one doesn't actually drive all that bad it's way better than the other two that's for sure yeah the one downside is that i only have 44 dollars to my name so i can't do any upgrades or repairs to this one uh, probably just clean it and then maybe wait a little. Maybe this will be my car for a while while I try to sell the other two for a profit, you know? All right, still cleaning up that car, but we got some customers here. Let's see how off we are with the price. So this is the more expensive one, 4,500. Oh, that's actually not too bad, 3,700. Um, I think I'll wait a little bit. What about this lady? Yeah, so they're all kind of 3,700. Maybe the paint damage is uh, throwing them off, but I think if I clean them up after I clean this one, I could maybe get closer to that 4,500 dollar price okay that one's nice and clean are they all only going for that car seems like they're not even interested in this one okay let's see what he's offering now that's a little bit cleaner oh he went even lower and i still can't click don't sell okay kind of had to reload the game to fix the menu issue and yeah i keep getting lowballed for those uh, i guess let's go ahead and put the other one for sale kind of as is Maybe we can make a quick profit on that. I mean, we really haven't spent anything on it. It has pretty much no damage, just a little bit dirty. But I mean, I feel like that was not too bad. It even has like a kit. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get maybe 3,200, but I'll probably take even 3,000 if possible. And then we also do have a skill point. So let's go ahead and get the less damage one. And then next time we get the best selling price thing, just to get a better estimate. Also, I just realized uh, I spent $10 there. I'm down to 34. So I think by the morning, I'm only going to have 24 bucks to my name. Okay, cars are nice and clean. Let's go ahead and open up shop. So yeah, I pretty much just have to really hope I make a profit from one of these cars today. Um, She just teleported into a different person, actually. Okay, come on. What do you got today? 3800 I mean, that's still a $400 profit. That's not super bad. I, I get the feeling I probably would have made much more money if I painted it. But I'm kind of, you know... A little desperate for money right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sell it. I think next time we get the kind of uh, bargaining thing, we can maybe bump up the price a little. Also, I'm being told there's a customer here in the top left. I don't see them. I think the lady kind of disappeared around here. Got teleported somewhere. Oh, hey, look, someone's actually trying to check out this car. So we're asking 3,200, 2,100. Yeah, no, I bought it for 2200 Okay, so that one might also be difficult to sell. Okay, this is slightly better. 2600 I mean, that would still be $400 of profit as well. But man, I was kind of hoping to make, you know, a couple thousand dollars of profit today. Uh, let's hold off on that one. I feel like we could get a little bit higher. Oh man, we have like a whole line over here. Okay, 2800 not bad. 2700 get out of here. Oh, and people are starting to look at this car too. Okay, 2500 nope. Yeah, I think I might have spent too much on this one. This is the one that had like $1,000 worth of repair, I think. $2,900. Ooh. But hey, you know what? I think I'll take the $2,800. I did want to get closer to $3,000, but 
That's not too bad, I think. At the very least, it gives us a little bit of money to maybe get another car. Oh, what the heck happened there with the camera? Okay. Oh, man, we got another one here. What's this one selling for? So this is a 1972 2400. Seems like it has pretty much nothing. So I think we'll skip on that one. They don't seem to be selling for over 3k pretty much. This one's kind of promising. These tend to be pretty cheap and sell for quite a bit. Yeah, 1900 um, does say it has a little bit of damage. Allegedly has Nas. I think I'll go for it. We made a pretty good amount of money the first time with one of these, like 4,500. So I'd assume it's worth a decent chunk. Although this one might need some, uh, a good amount of repairs, right? I already see that kind of roof messed up a bit. Okay, before we leave the area, I also did want to see this car. I think this one tends to go for 10K-ish. At least that's what I've seen at the market. 1,700. I think I might be thinking of a different car. 1,700, that's not bad. It does have a lot of damage though. So I'm probably expecting maybe a thousand dollars of repairs. Uh, sure, we'll buy that one too. Why not? And then can we tow this? Move your car to the first repair area. Oh, that didn't actually cost anything. Okay, and then this one does have NAS, so I think we click Alt to try it out. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Nice little boost there. Is that just empty now? Oh no, recharges over time. Okay, okay. I thought it was one of those things that I would have to pay like a hundred bucks to fill it up or something. Okay, that's not too bad. And then we got our other car over there. Let's see how much these repairs are gonna cost us. Let's start with this one first, since I think that's gonna sell for the most. Oh, only 480. Uh, although I think we might wanna do some paint work. And what about this one? Yeah, 1,100. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. But I mean, we bought it for about 1,200-ish. I think, or was it 17? I forgot already. All right, this one's nice and repaired. Seems like that took care of most of the body work. Uh, let's see if we get maybe a racing kit, turbo, and some other things here. So racing kit and turbo. Okay, so for the second car, I pretty much only have enough money for the turbo. So let's just do that. And you know, this car is actually pretty dang quick and fun to drive. Like, even just going reverse, I already hit like 30, 40 miles per hour. Yeah, this thing's crazy quick. It's super dirty, as you can tell, so definitely got to give that a quick wash. But I kind of get the feeling this one might have been a good purchase. Oh, not the crash. Oh, Ooh, that was so close. I don't know how I actually got out of that. Okay, let's see how much of this is just dirt versus the paint being bad. It looks like it's 100% just dirt. Yeah, look at that difference. Oh my gosh, okay. I think this is going to be a good one here. Ooh, okay, just got a skill point, and I think that lets us get this one. Yeah. So we get the Kelly Blue Book thing, pretty much. Let me go ahead and get these cleaned, and then we'll check out the actual prices. Okay, cars are nice and clean. Got photos of the other two, so we can put those for sale. Oh man, so we're way above price for this car. So on the low end, it's uh 1,800, and the high end, 3,370. I mean, I was kind of hoping to get 3,400, but that's essentially what we put in. Okay, maybe we'll have to change something on that one at some point. Let's see how we did on these other two. So let's check out the Honda Civic first. So anywhere from 2,300 to 4,300. So not too bad i think so why don't we just go for the 4k and see what they kind of offer us okay so i might have actually overpaid for this one i paid 3124 with everything and it seems like the highest you can get is about 29.62 uh let's put 3400 so maybe we get 3200 but again that's really really on the high end there uh, i think this guy was actually offering the most for this car yeah 3000 um i think i have to i'm still gonna lose like 200 300 bucks but much better than anything anyone else has offered, I guess. What about the Honda Civic? How much are you offering? Oh man, he'll take it as is. Okay, heck yeah, nice, nice. Maybe I could have asked for more, who knows. And then we got our first customer for this one. Let's see what they offer again. I think I need 3,200, 2,300. Jeez, okay, this one's gonna be a, a tough sell probably. All right, here we are Monday morning. Yeah, if this car doesn't sell, I might just keep it for myself. Uh, I think we got bills to pay. Let's see how much those are. So $877, man, okay, we're kind of losing money here, honestly. Down to 6,200, and we're probably gonna lose a couple hundred bucks on that car there. I could have sworn that was one of the better ones. Uh, let's head over to the neighborhood and see what they got. Ooh, we got another Honda Civic. Those tend to sell well if we could get it for the right price. Ooh, 3,892. That's pretty much what we sold the other one for. Maybe we'll be back for that one. I just don't think there's a lot of profit to be made there. I'd probably only make a couple hundred bucks. And then he could be lying on the report. And we actually have more issues than we know of. Okay, I didn't really see anything else here. So let's talk to him again. And maybe we pay for the inspection. I mean, it is 400, but at least he'll let us know how much he's lying about. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's a whole little cutscene over here. So expertise report. So got to pull up like that. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have the drift kit, but it does have the racing kit. 
and it kind of has everything else pretty low mileage actually maybe this isn't too bad okay so now we know exactly what it has so no damage at all Ooh, interesting so we actually lowered the price so it looks like the expertise kind of canceled that out i mean we still pretty much spent about four thousand if we buy it because the report and everything so let's go ahead and do that i think it'll be kind of worth it pretty much just needs a cleaning we can put it right on sale oh man we got a couple people here okay i actually stopped by to install turbo nas and abs i feel like that'll kind of help the value a little bit of this one. Oh my gosh let's see what all these people are kind of offering 2800 okay that's a little bit closer there 2600 get out of here 2300 i think i might have to take this lady's 2800 just so we don't lose too much money yeah let's go ahead and do that okay this car is nice and clean and yeah it's actually in really really good condition uh maybe i should top off the fuel but even the price range over here on the high end it's saying like 5600 so how about we list it at 6000 because then i think to even just make a little bit of profit we have to sell at 43.59 i mean the other guy bought it pretty much without any haggling so i think this should sell really really well i mean it has nice rims pretty much maxed out no damage low mileage and hey look we got our first customer maybe we'll sell this right away and kind of uh make at least a little bit of money this week okay a little unhappy with the price only wants to pay 43.13 got another guy 44.39 i mean that's pretty much still a little bit of profit but nope Ooh, 45.57 200 dollars of profit uh i don't really want to go lower than 5k for this one i think okay so unfortunately no one's really giving the offers i want on this one yet maybe i have to lower the price or fill it up with gas maybe that'll help just a little but overall, not too unhappy. I mean, we're still running at a little bit of a loss, but it kind of is what it is. I'm hoping next time, maybe we get the bargaining upgrade, because then we could kind of haggle prices a little bit more. Because that's kind of what kills it. We have to, you know, buy it, get a thousand dollar repairs, and then suddenly we're at a loss, even though the car could be profitable. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.